So the first thing that we are going to do is enable our cheats on The Sims 4, which will be done on a PC or a Mac. And to do this, you are going to click on Control Shift C, which brings up a little box in the top left corner of our screen up here. And in that box, we are going to type in testing cheats and then we're going to leave a little space here and we're going to type in true and we are going to click enter and it does come up that our cheats are enabled at this moment so from here on out we will be able to start typing in the cheats which we want to use when we're playing the sims 4. so the very first cheat which i'm going to go over with you guys is the money cheat this is usually the number one cheat that I use when I'm playing the game if I want to give my sim a little bit of extra money to buy something or for whatever reason. And usually I will use uh, between three different cheats for this depending on how much I want to give my sim at that time. The first one that I'm going to go over with you guys is Rosebud. So in the top left corner where we did type in our testing cheats true, we're going to type in Rosebud. And then we're going to click enter. And as you can see, this gives our sim 1,000 simoleons. And the second one is mother load. And we're going to type that in in the same place. And we're going to click enter. And that gives us 50,000 simoleons. And the third one, which I usually use more so than the rest, is money x. And for this one, we're just going to type in money. And in replace of X, we're going to type in the amount of money that we want our Sims to have in total. So say I wanted to give my Sims 20,000 simoleons. Uh, we're going to type in money. And then we're going to type in 20,000. And we will click enter. So in total, this gives our sim 20,000 simoleons. It's just a base amount of money which we have given our sims. It doesn't add a particular amount to what we had before, it's just what we have flat right now. So for example, say we wanted 100,000 simoleons, we would type in money again and we would type in 100,000. And that gives our sim a total of 100,000 simoleons. What we're talking about is changing the seasons. And for this one, I believe that you can only do it if you have the seasons pack. But I am going to go over it anyway because this is one that I like to use a fair bit if I want to change the season for whatever reason it may be. So we are going to go back up into our cheats tab. And we are going to type in seasons. Period. Set, underscore, season, and then we're going to leave a space, and we are going to just type in one, the number one, and we will click enter, and as you can see, this particular cheat changes our season to fall, and we're going to go back in again, and we're going to type in the same thing, seasons, set, underscore, season, and we're going to type in the number two and this changes to winter and we will do it again another repeat seasons Oops. period set underscore season three and that brings us to spring and if we want to get back to summer which we were originally in to begin with we will type in the same thing again, seasons, period, set, underscore, season, and for this one we're going to type in the number zero, and we'll click enter. And it brings us right back to summer. So that is our seasons cheat, and as you can see I have that listed on the screen for the different number for the different season which you will want to pick cheat which I'm going to be talking to you guys about is how to complete a milestone for your aspiration 
And as you can see, my sim that I have chosen has to complete two different scenarios in order to move on to the next level to become the friends of the world, which she has chosen. And in order to do this, we're going to go back up to our cheats box. And we're simply going to type in aspirations, period, complete, underscore, current. Oops, we spelled that wrong. We're just going to go back and fix that underscore milestone and we're just going to click enter on there and as you can see she has now completed both of the scenarios which she has to complete in order to move on to the next level to become the friends of the world and if you guys want to keep typing that cheat in to continue whichever one you have chosen for your sims character you can just keep retyping this and for however many different levels there were, it will be fully completed. So the fourth cheat, which I'm going to be talking to you guys about, is how to increase your sim's needs. And this is one that I use fairly often when I am playing. And for this one, it is fairly easy. We already do have our testing cheats true typed in. So we are just going to click shift. And we're going to hold that. And we're going to click on our sim or your desired sim. And for this, you can see more options. And you will simply click cheat need. And you will click make happy. And you can see here that our sim is happy. And if you go over to our needs, everything is fully filled. So the next cheat I'm going to be talking to you guys about is how to obtain free homes. And in order to do this, I'm going to go ahead and get my sim to move households. And she's just going to make the phone call there. And as you know, our testing cheats true is still activated. So we will still be using that as well. And we're just going to load in so we can load up the homes that she can move to. And usually this will also work for apartments as well. I believe the only way um, around it really is that you still have to pay the rent for the apartment. So our homes are now loaded up and ready to go. So we do have quite a bit of funds from when we were using our money cheats. So, but we do have homes here, which she can't afford. And it will work for any world as well that you want to pick. But we're just going to stick with this one for now. So we're going to bring up our cheat box again. Control Shift C. And for this, we're going to type in free real estate. And we're going to leave a space there and type on. And we're just going to click enter. So you can see that our free real estate is on right now. I'm just going to close out that box. And now we have access to the homes that we couldn't afford before. We're going to go ahead and we are going to move into this one for an example. And we're just going to click confirm there. We'll leave it furnished. Um, we'll sell our furniture just because. And it's just loading in there. So uh, you can gain access to any house or apartment for free. And you will still be able to keep your funds that you had before. You can see we are now loaded into our new home. Which we did gain for free. And as you can see our funds are still here which we had before. And she is now the homeowner of this beautiful home, which could definitely be renovated. Um, but I'm sure I will definitely be doing a video on that in the future. But that is how you do gain access to homes for free. So this cheat is going to be how to modify your relationships. And this is one that I like to use just because sometimes it can get things going and it can make you become friends with people faster or depending how you want to use it, it can make you be disliked as well. And I'm going to show you an example of both of those right now. So the first one which I'm going to be showing you is how to increase your friendship levels with a certain sim. 
So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your cheat box again, and you're going to type in modify relationship, and you're going to type in your Sims first name, space your Sims last name, space, and then you're going to want to type in your target Sims first name followed by their last name. So I'm just going to use Liberty Lee as an example here because we've already had an interaction together. So Liberty Lee space. Now what you're going to want to do is type in how much of a friendship you guys want to have. So your numbers can go from anywhere from negative 100 up to 100. So for this, I'm going to give you an example if you want your sims to be disliked by that particular sim that you've picked. So I'm going to type in negative 100 space L T R underscore friendship underscore main. And you're just going to click enter. So as you can see here, our cheat has worked and my sim and Liberty Lee are now enemies. So that is how you become disliked by someone and now I will show you how you become friends with someone as well. And for this one, I'm going to use Summer Holiday as an example. So you're going to go back up to your cheats box and you're going to type in modify relationship just like we did before your sims first name, your sims last name, followed by the target sims first name and last name. And I'm going to type in 100 for this one. LTR underscore friendship underscore main. And as you can see here, Summer Holiday is now friends with my Sims character, and that is how you use that cheat. Next cheat is going to be how to edit a Sim fully in Create a Sim. We have our testing cheats on. We're going to type in C A S period full edit mode. And we're just going to click enter for that. Now, for this, I have a sim here in my neighborhood already, so usually for our sims, our townies, or anyone, you cannot fully edit them, so that means you can't change their traits, you can't change um, most of their appearance, some of their appearance you can't change, and this cheat actually allows you to do so. So I'm going to go over to Lily, and I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to click on her. And I'm going to go to more choices. And modify in create a sim. As you can see, we can now change her weight fully. We can change her strength. We can also change her traits here. So if we want to make her more loving, we can actually go into these. We can X them out. And we can change everything about her now, pretty much. So we can change our aspiration if we want to. Let's say we wanted her to be more of a family person. We can choose whatever one we want. Change her traits. We can make her cheerful. We can make her family orientated. And we can also change everything about her appearance and whatnot. So that is how you can fully edit a sim in the create a sim mode. You can do this for any character that you want or any townie that you see that you want to change anything about them that you don't like while you're playing. You can feel free to just type in that cheat and you can continue to edit. So our next cheat is going to be just a little bit different. So the one that I'm going to be showing you guys is how to build anywhere even on locked locks. So 
for example, I'm going to be going over how to build in the dorm rooms in the university world. And for this reason, it's because normally you can't edit these buildings. So what I'm going to get you to do is open up your box again for your cheats and type in bb dot enable free build. And you're just going to click enter. So we now have this cheat enabled. And for this right now, I'm actually going to go into manage worlds. And I'm gonna go to one of the dorm rooms and show you guys now that you can actually edit these buildings if you wanna decorate it however you like, if you have this pack. And we'll get started from there. So we have now loaded into the university pack and for this there are a couple of dorms actually here that you can choose from you have two right here and you also have two over here so for this i'm just going to click on this one right here for an example just because nobody's living in it right now so all you have to do is click there and you have the option to build here as well and just to go over here as well you can edit this one as well so we're just going to go and open up drake hall right here and click build so we are now loading in to our build mode at the university dorm and as you can see we can now fully edit the dorm however we like so that means you can change up the rooms if you want you can change the wallpapers the flooring the bathrooms Anything that you want to do with the dorm, you are now able to do with this cheat. So I hope that was a help and it allows you to customize your dorm rooms or whatever you want, however you want. So for our next cheat, I'm going to be showing you how to move your objects anywhere that you want within your lot. So sometimes when you're playing, the game won't let you overlap items. And I'm going to show you now what I mean here. So take for example, we have this item right here on our countertop. If we wanted to move this one, we cannot lay it on the same counter as what we already have here because it just doesn't allow us to do that. And I'm gonna show you guys how to be able to do this and not just with kitchen items, but for any items in your game as well. So you're gonna open up your cheat box And when you have your cheat box open here, you're going to type in BB period move objects space on. So our move objects is now on. And you can now select your items wherever you want to move them. So as you can see here, we can now have items overlapping wherever we want. I know it doesn't exactly look that great but it does give you the option to now move your objects wherever without it not allowing you to do so. So our objects can be moved anywhere that you want. It can be overlapping and it can be done with a number of items as well if you wanted to. So take for example right here. We have our chairs lined up here. So what I'm gonna do to show you guys again, I am going to add another chair. And for this, as you can see, you can actually move your objects physically anywhere that you want. You can put it in your stove if you wanted to. It, it can move anywhere. And that is how you can change your items to overlap if that's what you want to do. If you're playing around with the clutter in your game for whatever reason, you can move your objects physically anywhere. And for example, I am going to show you this overlay just so you know that it does work. And as you can see, where you normally cannot place an item, you can now place them wherever you want on your lot. So for our last and final cheat, we are going to be going over how to unlock career items in your build category. 
So for this, you can see that we actually have an item here locked because you need to reach a certain level of a career in order to unlock it and place it on your lot. And it goes for the same thing here with your stoves as well. I know my game is a little slow right now. I probably should update that, but things happen. And as you can see, we have items here which are also locked. So in order to unlock these, we are going to open up our cheats box once again, and we are going to type in bb dot ignore gameplay unlock it's entitlement. And our cheats are wrote on the screen as well, but we do leave all of this together. We don't use any spaces for this, and we are going to click enter. So that is now unlocked and our cheat is on. So if we want to go back into our items, which were previously locked for us, which we couldn't place on our lot, we are just going to scroll down here if my game ever decides you know what i'm gonna work today so so as you can see we now have our items unlocked here and you can place these wherever you want when you're building so the cheat is now activated working perfectly we can now place our items that are locked we're gonna go back in here to our stoves and check this out as well. And as you can see, these items are also unlocked. And you can place them wherever you want on your lot as well. And this does work for all of our items as well. It's not just limited to kitchen, it is in all the categories where you need to reach a certain level of your career in order to unlock them. So this is actually a wrap for our top 10 cheats, which I personally use when I'm playing The Sims 4. And I really hope that it's been a help to you guys. If you need any help with anything or you're finding that a cheat isn't working for you, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I will definitely try and help you guys as much as I can. But these are personally 10 which I like using. They're not done in any particular order at all. It's just 10 random ones that I find myself using quite a fair bit. And I hope you stick around for the rest of the videos to come.